Good morning, everyone. Today we are doing a lesson on cladograms, which is the last piece of new information for our quiz, which is coming up at the end of this week. Um, first thing you're going to do is attendance and watch this video and listen or read the directions that are posted in Google Classroom. You're going to open up Lesson 6 in Classwork. There are three documents there. One is the Do Now. The Do Now looks like this. So cladograms are a tool that we use in order to show relationships among common and or organisms that have common ancestors in science. Um, it's a way to show how they share certain characteristics and how those characteristics have developed over time. So if we look at these four organisms, they all have a shared common ancestor and therefore they have some shared characteristics. So if I were to look at a Venn diagram like this, I could see how some of those characteristics could overlap. So first thing I want you to do is just to go through and see, okay, here's my shark. Which of these characteristics does the shark have? Well, the shark only has something crossing over into the vertebrae um, category there. So it, I would put an X there. Next, you're going to look at your bullfrog. Hmm, the bullfrog circle has a vertebrae. It also has two pairs of limbs. So I'm going to put an X in each of those as well. Now what you'll see is this is kind of a clunky way to show how relationships um, exist amongst these organisms and how characteristics are shared amongst these organisms. A cladogram is a much easier way to do this. So what you're going to do is you're going to watch the video posted here on YouTube about cladograms, watch the whole thing, and use it to answer the questions that follow about how cladograms work. Once you've done that, then you have some time to do some practice looking at cladograms. So the next activity that is there is lesson, oh, I should retitle that, it should be lesson six, cladogram practice. It'll be retitled when you see it in your um, folder. Um, and again, you're going to look at some examples of cladograms, and you're going to use what you learned in the video to understand what traits these organisms share and how they have um, a common ancestor. The first cladogram is here. There are questions posted for you. There's also a YouTube link for you to watch um, to get some more information about this specific cladogram. You're going to feel more comfortable after you've done that one, so then you have a second one and a third one to go through and answer questions on. Once you have done that, you are going to um, check your work using the posted cladogram review video and document. So go back through, check to see what you did right, check to see what you did wrong, correct it so that you have correct information to use as a reference for your studying. There is an exit ticket posted in the form of a Google form. It's more so thinking about what are you feeling comfortable with coming up with on, on the quiz, what are you feeling less than comfortable with, um, and how are you going to prepare. For homework, you're going to use the virtual word wall to create a vocab card for cladogram. That's the last of your vocab words for this quiz, so it's a total of eight vocab words you should have in your stack. And you're going to study for your quiz, which will be on Wednesday for blocks C and G, Thursday for blocks B, E, and F. Our next class for all classes will be doing review for the quiz, but I would like you to do some review on your own so that you come to that review prepared with questions and with knowledge in your heads to do your best work. Secret word for today is hoodie. Have a great day.